Good morning, my friends. It's Sunday, May 29th, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun. I just had to let poor Hermione out. She had an upset stomach, and maybe she doesn't like to do cat food. <laughs> She'll be fine. And I have with me a beautiful painting today, another painting by Dee Beggarly. What struck me about this painting is it's raining in the city. And yet there's so much beauty and color. We have a rainy Easter season this year with so much war and violence. Yeah, God is crying. And yet we have the joy of Easter. We know the end of the story or the new beginning. And we know that the 21 children killed in that school in Texas are are experiencing joy with the Lord, but we are left here in the rain. There's also so much red in this beautiful painting, which reminds me of the coming of Pentecost next Sunday, the arrival of the fire of the Holy Spirit. We continue today in the book of Acts with this incredible passage. Paul and Silas are traveling and they find a girl who has a divination. Uh, she's able to see things and she says, oh, you worship and serve the most high God. She's been making money for people because she can predict things. A soothsayer, of course, and Paul casts the spirit out making the people who make money from her very angry. They throw him in jail, they beat him, and yet here he is in prison singing praises to God and worshiping God. There in the prison, there's an earthquake late at night and the doors are flung open. The head of the prison is about to lean on his sword and kill himself because he thinks the prisoners have just left. And Paul calls out and says, no, we're right here. So the man comes in, he's so amazed that they haven't run, that he lets them free and he takes them home with him and he asks them to baptize him and his whole family and he believes. It's such a vibrant, violent, crazy story. But what strikes me the most is that Paul and Silas do not take violence or hatred against them as in any way coming from God. Rather, they see that they're following God and the resistance that they encounter is because they are serving the gospel. When I have things that let me down or ways that people hurt me, I usually say, God, why are you hurting me? Why is this happening to me? But that's never what Paul asked. He saw all of his misfortune, all of the beatings, the thro throwing into prison, all as another opportunity to fight for the gospel. He saw himself battling powers and principalities of this earth, battling darkness, and that was what wounded him. It wasn't God punishing him. It was actually a sign that he was moving the world and changing things. And the more he is hurt and mistreated, the stronger he gets. What if we looked at the earth in this way that we are here as bearers of the light and we will encounter violence, we will encounter darkness, we will encounter prejudice and hatred, but that is who we are as Christians. It will only make us stronger. Let us pray. God, help us to become people of justice, truth, and light. And the more resistance we encounter, the stronger we get. Help us to find our strength in you and in your resurrection life, not in the opinions of others, the injustices that face us. Help us to become warriors of peace 
What a contradiction in terms. Peace bearers who will not be cast down by violence, but will persist the more. Blanket this earth with your peace, Lord. Rid us of the violence, hatred, AK-47s and guns that amass in this country. Bring us, Lord, your peace. Comfort the sick, the dying, the hungry, those who are in need. Bring us into the fullness of your kingdom, O Lord, that we may come to know you and to love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.